still got to struggle to raise money for my campaign? Where the f*** is my black people with money? I don't care about no dope money. Give me that dope boy money. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we're going to talk about a Democratic U.S. Senate candidate from South Carolina communicating with a prison inmate to install some fake conservatives into the GOP to flip things in favor of the Democratic Party. Now, I don't know why this woman had to find a prison inmate to talk to about this. I mean, surely there's somebody out there in the free world that can give you some political strategy. Maybe there's something else going on between the two of them. I have no idea. So for now, I digress. The whole point is that she talked to this prison inmate about this. And of course, since he's in jail, it was recorded on audio tape. And we do have that tape. If you want to hear the full tape without my commentary, the link, as always, will be in the description. If you're on IG, go to the link in the bio, find my website, go to the article. It'll be right there. But I'm going to play it right now. I've not heard this entire thing. Uh, shout out to Charlie Kirk for reposting it and Project Veritas for being behind it and Laura Logan also for posting it. But you see Charlie Kirk's caption. It says, Breaking, leak call with inmate reveal, South Carolina Democratic state rep and Senate candidate KM for Senate calling for hashtag secret sleepers to infiltrate South Carolina GOP advocates for illegally funded campaign with dope money. Quote, we can flip some stuff from the inside out. Let's check it out. We need some secret sleepers. Like you need, we need them to run as the other side, even though they for our side and we need right, them to win. Right. We need people to run as Republicans in these local elections. And this is the only way you're going to change the, the dynamics in South Carolina. We can battle them in public all day. As long as we know we working for the same goal <laughs> for me, right. I feel like y'all, we need sleepers. When we get enough of us in there, we can wreak havoc, havoc for real from the inside out. Then we can flip some yeah. from the inside out. We got to take back some of these seats, especially in these local elections. We need a group of sleepers. And I still got to struggle to raise money for my campaign. Where the f is my black people with money? I don't care about no dope money. Give me <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> let's, 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 let's back up here. Okay. So there, there's a whole lot to unpack just in this little bit of um, audio we've heard so far. So you want to install fake uh, GOP, fake conservatives to try and flip things around. And you just kind of pivot into complaining about money, talking about where is the black folks of money? Well, I mean, <laughs> you, you, you're talking about the Democratic platform. How are you going to be able to really have money doing that? Unless you're doing something illegal. Talking about, I don't care about no dope money. Okay, like really? So you, you want all the dope boys the people that are harming their own community by selling drugs and shooting and killing and thugging and drugging, you want them to donate to your campaign. So aren't you just perpetuating the same thing that you purport yourself to be trying to solve? Shouldn't you be solving the problem with drugs and violence in the community? If you're going to be a public servant running for a Senate, but I guess, I guess not. Maybe it's about something else. Where the f is my black people with money? I don't care about no dope money. Give me that dope boy money. Give me that dope boy money. So maybe that's why she's talking to a guy in jail or prison or wherever about something like this. Cause she don't care about the law. Obviously give me some of that dope boy money. And I mean, at a certain point, are you a moron? You understand when you talk to somebody that's incarcerated, it's being recorded. Literally it's being recorded and they're listening to it. And if they find certain little keywords in there, certain things you can, you can get arrested for that. You know, it, it, it depends on what you're trying to do. You're trying to, organize some type of thing you're trying to yeah that right there is just silly but let's continue where the f is dope where the duffel bag boys get you find you somebody in your family that don't even know you donating to my campaign and put that shit under their name honestly these ain't the same type of black people that i grew up around i don't recognize these black guys so i black because I don't understand the type of black that they are. Now, can I talk intelligently? Can I? I could be, listen, I can move in all kinds of circles, but I'm a heart. I love black people. I feel safest around my people. I'm very much a in a lot of ways, but I know how to turn it off and turn it on. You know, I, I, know, how to, I know how to be in certain spaces. 
You know, you right, gotta be right. able to turn it off and turn it on. Yeah. We need some folks that can wear all black at night and take their fucking yard signs down when they when they sleeping. We ain't gotta mm-hmm. make a bunch of noise about it. We ain't gotta we ain't gotta go mm-hmm. live about it. Just don't say shit. just like when somebody drop money and you pick it up. You pick that shit and keep on. You can. She got a criminal mind. You know, like you drop if somebody drop money on the ground and you just, you know, and, and you just pick it up. Don't say anything. I mean, you have a criminal mind. And this is the reason why a lot of these people that try to run for office and it, they don't really understand how to behave in the civil society. That's not how you behave in a civil society. If everybody behaved like that, then you would have chaos. This is why you have chaos in a lot of these urban inner city communities because of that kind of behavior because of that kind of mindset. It's okay to be a dope boy. It's okay to rob, kill, shoot, and whatnot in my own community if it's able to make money, if I'm able to benefit from it in some kind of way. You will bleed, you will die for my benefit, for my whatever kind of job making peanuts per year. I'll, I'll hurt you to do it. That's, that's the mentality. It's the same kind of mentality that says, I'll kill you for $20 you have in your pocket right now. I'll kill you for your, 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 your chain and your shoes or something like that. That's that mentality, even at a so-called high level of somebody trying to become a senator in their state, somebody trying to control politics, still got the same hood, ghetto, just destructive mindset. And, and just then just because you come from that environment does not mean you automatically have that type of mind going on. Wow, that was that was something else. So who was this person? Um, what's hold on? Let me just find this person. So Crystal Matthews and. The prison inmate, this guy is David Solomon Ballard, inmate at the Perry Correctional Institution. I mean, <laughs> why? I'm sure there's free black men. Like, I'm, I'm sure there's black men in South Carolina that aren't in the penitentiary that you could have talked to about this particular thing. Now, maybe this guy who's in jail, baby daddy, boyfriend, uh, cousin, friend, I don't, I don't know who this guy is. Or maybe she thinks this would be the kind of guy that will get her done. Wearing the all black at night, taking the yard signs down, doing something illegal, maybe selling drugs or whatever the case may be. But you got to be just ridiculous to say something like that. See, there, there's no there's no intelligence there. You're talking about doing things that are illegal, taking money from drugs. That's illegal. Um, wearing all black, taking yard signs and stuff like that. I'm sure it's, you could be considered trespassing or whatever, theft. It's, you're discussing crimes, you're discussing illegality on the phone with an inmate who's in prison, jail, or whatever the case may be. You're not smart. Then you want to try to put in some fake conservatives. I've heard about that before, especially among black folks. They say, you know, I, I've, I've seen some of the fake conservatives that try to come in. I won't name no names, but if you know, you know. But they don't really succeed. They they never really succeed. They They try to... They, they try to do well. They, they try to make it, but they don't really succeed. They make a name for themselves, they get a little bit of traction on social media, but they don't actually win anything. What they do is win money for their pockets. You know, they, they get paid plenty of money to go out there and just say whatever, but they don't actually have any kind of power. So at a certain point, I think people are able to recognize it. The only way they don't recognize it is during the campaign when they're raising money for themselves. They, 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 they raise the money, they get the money, and then it kind of fall off. They, they got a big bag of money, but that's it. So I think the moral of the story, what I'm trying to say here is be aware of who you're voting for. Be aware of who you support. You know, it don't matter if they're black, white, Puerto Rican candy strike because you got all kind of fake people out there. And and you got some of the smoothest talkers. They'll, they'll talk you into buying a house and you got a dollar to your name. You have not one red sit in the bank. They will talk you into buying a mansion in Calabasas, Los Angeles, up in the hills. Very smooth talkers, but be careful. Vet as much as you can, research as much as you can to figure out who you're really supporting. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this prison call? I mean, what type of um, zero IQ thing was this to do? Whatever your thoughts on that are, please let me know in the comments below. How do you feel about... The, the fake conservatives that are trying to infiltrate the movement or that have already infiltrated. We've seen conservatives vote for things that are kind of questionable. You had the gun bill that just passed and became law in, a, in the dead of the night on the weekend. Just, you know, you didn't even see that happening. 
Okay, because last I heard, they were talking about um, the the Uvalde thing and the Buffalo thing and uh, gun reform, and it passed the House, and then it went to the Senate. But it passed the House and the Senate with, like, I think 15 GOP senators voting for it, and then it became law because Biden signed off on it just this past Saturday. Did you hear about that? Maybe you heard about it, but it was overshadowed by the Supreme Court stuff. They, they do these things very strategically, and they do things years and years in advance, anticipating the next thing got to happen, and then the next thing, and the next thing, and so on and so forth. So this would be very interesting to see how it all plays out when you're talking about fake people being in there, anybody else is going to get um, uh, exposed come midterm time. If anybody was able to be voted out, that scene as kind of a Ryan no fake conservative or whatever, but voting somebody out, that's, that's a good thing. That's, that's great. But let's not replace them with another fake person Vet as much as you can do your research, ask questions to figure out what's going on. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.